Hello everyone, thank you so much for being here. Welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. And I'm excited today to be bringing you a Zodiac monthly reading. So this is a reading for July 2021. Today we are reading for Virgo here. And these are monthly messages for what's coming up for us in the month of July, what our energies will be focused towards, any challenges and obstacles that may be coming our way or any opportunities and experiences that may be coming up for us. And they're just really lovely messages of divine guidance and inspiration just to um, help us guide, guide our way through the month of July. So we're here with Virgo today. This is for sun, moon and rising signs. So don't forget, you could also have a look at your other um, zodiac signs in your birth chart, sun, moon and rising, so that you could get a bit more of an in-depth picture of what's coming up for you this month. So here we go, Virgo. We're going to bring over the mixing cup here and we're going to pop you into the mixing cup. And then I will mix up the charms and we'll see what we're being given for July this year. Okay, that looked like quite an interesting mix, lots of colour going on in there, which is lovely. So I'm just going to shake them up now, give them a bit of a mix, and this part can get a little bit noisy, so feel free to turn down your volume for a, just a temporary moment. This is going to be an interesting read, so let's zoom in on this and take a closer look at what's coming up for you, Virgo, in July. Okay, Virgo, this is a very calm, very peaceful reading that I'm seeing here. So I'm not seeing too many challenges or difficulties. Um, I'm just going to explain to you how I'll be reading the board first. So. Um, what we're doing here is we're looking at the center of the board being the things that your energies and attentions will be drawn to um, more um, more often throughout the month. So a bit more of a, the focus here of what will be coming up around you throughout the month of July. But we also have the bottom here, which I will be reading as um, any possible challenges or obstacles that may be coming up for you. Um, in the top of the board here, I will be reading that as um, any of your thoughts and feelings, what's what's going through your mind, what you're wanting to focus your energies on. Um, over on the left-hand side here of the board, this is your recent past. So anything that's been happening or any challenges and obstacles you've been coming through over the recent weeks or months. And over on the right hand side here, I'll be reading this as the near future. So what is coming up for you in the next few weeks or months ahead. So um, I would usually start with the challenges or the focal area here, but I'm actually going, here you are Virgo, hiding up there in the corner. I will come to that section in a moment, but for some reason I wanted to start here with um, your recent past um, and the challenges and things that you've been coming through. So this is a really nice energy here. So first of all, I'll start with the crystal ball. This is just um, a, a beautiful little bead that I use to represent the crystal ball or a crystal ball, if I can focus on it there. Where are you, crystal ball? Sorry about the lighting as well, here we go. Um, so it just reminds me so much of 
um, just a really decorative pretty crystal ball so um, what this represents is actually being able to see more clearly so being able to look at a situation and you've been coming through the situation because this is coming out of your recent past um, and it's being able to see that situation with much more clarity now it's actually sitting on top of the rooster and the chicken and the rooster and chicken represent unity and balance a healthy balance in relationships so this doesn't have to be romantic relationships it can be any relationships that you surround yourself with um, any friends or family and it can also mean um, a healthier relationship with your higher self your intuition um, as well so with it being connected so closely to the crystal ball there I'm seeing that um, you're actually what you've been coming through recently is a better understanding of either the relationships that you're um, surrounded with so that could be a romantic relationship or it could be um, it could be a, a better healthier relationship with yourself as well and being able to have a better understanding of how you want this relationship to move forward um, particularly if it is a, be a better understanding of um, your own heart's desires and and your um, a connection with your intuition and your higher self that's definitely giving you more clarity and understanding of what it is that you want for yourself in the future um, and also as I was saying for others where it may be connected to a relationship romantic or friends or family it's just about um, seeing and understanding more clearly how to move forward within that relationship um, so that you have a healthy balance um, going forward into the future so this is a really nice energy that you've come through um, and just below here we do have the dagger the dagger can represent potentially um, being a little bit defensive um, or the need to protect yourself so it's possible it's not particularly closely linked with any other charms but um, it's coming just out of your past, um, your recent past here. So that really could just be that you've been perhaps feeling a little bit defensive or feeling the need to protect yourself. It could be related to a relationship. Um, it could just be um, just your own energies feeling a little bit that um, you're feeling you need to guard yourself or protect yourself from a particular situation around you or the, a situation you've you've been coming through in the recent weeks or months um, it can also relate to accepting a challenge as well so being able to see clearly where you want to move forward in life or within relationships um, it can be that you're just accepting that um, you know the there are changes that need to be made or there is work to be done and that you're accepting that challenge and you're um you're going with it you're moving with it so um it can have some slight negative aspects to it with the defensiveness and the need to protect yourself but it definitely also has um a positive element to it where it can be that you're just um you know you're understanding more clearly what you want in the future and you're accepting um, the challenge and the changes that need to come so not necessarily too bad of, of a charm to get and here we have the beautiful star and the star is all about divine guidance and blessings so this is um, again with the crystal ball showing up with um, being a spiritual connection it could be that you're really being guided or you're really trusting in divine guidance right now and it's definitely bringing blessings forward for you so again that's a really lovely energy and another energy that talks about um, divine guidance and spiritual connections as well So if we move slightly below the star here, we have the key. This is moving into your challenges and obstacles area, but it's not directly at the bottom of the board. So 
you may be coming through this and coming out of this challenge but the key does represent um unlocking something so it could be unlocking negative thoughts and feelings letting go being able to unlock and let go of those negative energies or things that may have been causing you challenges um, it can also for some be the unlocking of literally a new home or a new opportunity so um, maybe this has been there has been something particularly um, causing a challenge for you if you're looking to move house or buy a new home or change location or even start a new job it could be that um, there have been some blockages and challenges but it looks like you are coming through that now and you are beginning to unlock those things like I said also could just simply be representative of any negative feelings as well the need to unlock and let go of those because sometimes we don't always see the blockages um, or the challenges that are coming our way and it's it could just be that we need to you know trust in the divine guidance and really tap into our intuition so that we can let go of those things which will then help us move forward so um, you definitely have just one other challenge down here and this is the safety pin Ooh, if we can focus on that okay and so what the safety pin represents is the need to make something more secure so it's um it may be you feeling the need for um, more security or or the need for you to um start making your surroundings more secure for you so um, definitely nothing too too challenging or difficult but this is definitely something perhaps that you've been wanting to work towards having that real um solid foundation of feeling that um you're steady and stable and then you're able to move forward so um nothing too too difficult but it's definitely showing up as a challenge for you um but again, it's, you know, hopefully moving towards in the right direction. Underneath, or oh, just above it, above it, sorry, we have the spanner. So the spanner represents work that needs to be done. So um, it's just above the safety pin there. So that need for security um, and building on a foundation so that you can feel stable and secure um, may require some work. It does also mean here with the spanner that um, you may need to find the right tools to get the job done. So that could be um, learning a new skill or an ability or, um, you know, maybe educating yourself or asking for help and, and getting the right tools, um, surrounding yourself with all the right tools that you need to make sure that you can um, create that security for yourself and you can get yourself um, unstuck from, from this challenge here where you're feeling um, unsecure and unstable. So definitely some work that does need to be done here. But again, nothing too challenging. It's something that's coming into your focal point here. And it's just um, making sure that you have the right tools for the jobs that need to be done. And over here to the left hand side, this is coming all into your more central focus for the month. And we have the duck. Okay, and the duck, again, um, can represent intuition as well. It's really about balance and creating that balance because the duck can live on um, water and land and it can fly through air as well. So the duck is all about living a balanced life um, and it's really about trusting that intuition. And... Um, being vigilant with how um, how you're living your life and making sure that um, you know you're putting the right amount of work and effort in that you need in order to achieve your goals. So creating a balanced life here, and with the duck also representing intuition, which we're seeing 
all the way through here with the divine guidance and the crystal ball which is also about clarity and intuition so it's definitely using your um your spiritual faith and your intuition and your own inner knowledge to really help you create that balanced life so that you can you know do the work that needs to be done in order to make you yourself feel a lot more secure so a little bit of a challenge a little bit of work but again with all of these blessings and all of this guidance and this clarity that you've you've been working on and you've been receiving um, it definitely doesn't pose too much of a challenge that i can see and right here in the center this is this makes me very happy i like this section here um so we have the sweet and the sweet literally um is just telling us that life is getting good life is going to be sweet and i can tell you why because we also have the diamond okay and the diamond is representative um it, again it can be representative of spiritual power so that again that's using that spiritual inner knowledge that you have um to guide you through making these choices and making these changes that you need um in order to create that stability but it can also represent wealth and that's financial wealth for some of you and it also can be um uh, somebody special or something special coming into your life and that just makes life really good and really really sweet so definitely something good coming in for you there and it also is situated right next to this beautiful great big shiny word love okay so for some of you some of you Virgos out there, if you have been single and looking for love, this definitely could be coming in for you this month of July because life is getting good and you have the love right here, the diamond here that could represent someone or something special coming into your life. Um, again, like I said, it could be wealth for others, like financial wealth um, or spiritual wealth and knowledge as well that's going to help you learn and grow. But it's all given with love. It's all about just surrounding yourself with that absolute divine love. Um, and that definitely for some of you could be a new relationship coming in for others who are already in a relationship. Um, this could just be a, a really great month to celebrate that and really just make the most of spending time. Again, you have the chicken and the rooster here, which is about a connection, um, a unity. So coming together with a loved one um, or surrounding yourself with loved ones as well. So um, that's really just another message of um, lots of love and happy relationships around you as well Virgo so that's just I absolutely love this part here your central focus for the month um, is looking fantastic um, and it gets even better because right underneath here we do have the daisy as well and the daisy does represent new beginnings it can be new beginnings in motherhood so for some of you congratulations maybe um, there is a pregnancy here for some of you and um, it also just is new beginnings in whatever that means for you so as we said here uh, because it's also connected to the love and the possibility of someone or something special coming in it's all very closely linked that this could be your new beginning meeting someone new um an opportunity for you or your family um just an opportunity for life to to really to, for you to really start enjoying yourself and enjoying life lots of good things coming in and just underneath that here we have the apple and the apple can represent two different things so it can be it can literally mean health um and we also do have it very closely linked to the bones here and the bones do also represent health. They represent spiritual growth and health as well as physical. So for some of you, it could be that part of your um, way to make yourself feel more secure could be by working on your health and wanting to gain back, um, you know, a good health for yourself and that's mind body and spirit as well so this does the bones do represent spiritual growth 
um, and the apple does represent health so it could be about with this balance here with the duck it could be about a really healthy balance of your mind body and spirit so creating that stability and that security for yourself by literally beginning um by of taking care of yourself basically um that's what that can represent for some of you and for others it does also represent um the apple here does represent knowledge and gaining new information and education so um, for others your new opportunity and new beginning here could be related to education or learning in some capacity as well um, and again your bones going towards the future here um, and your the coming weeks ahead um, the bones do also represent building a foundation so for those of you who may be um, embarking on re-educating yourself or um, taking on a course or joining a class it definitely could be that um, this future focus here going in towards the next few weeks and months um, really could be about educating yourself either with your health and improving your health or for others it could be about building that foundation for spiritual growth or actual um, education and academic learning as well so um, learning new things which that's a fantastic thing to go forwards and focus on um, because it definitely is going to help you expand and move yourself in the right direction so really um building up those foundations and it could be the beginning of a project as well because it's really um, almost like the bare bones of something so it could be starting a new project as well which we also have the new beginning here could be a new project for some of you so um, a fantastic focal point for the coming weeks and then up here in your thoughts and feelings um, I'm going to come over to you here now Virgo in the corner so here you are hiding away in the corner <laughs> of your thoughts um, and that's definitely, I'm also a Virgo and we are, um, we are classic overthinkers. And so I don't know about everybody else, but um, I am literally always running things through my mind um, and I'm a classic overthinker. So um, that could be the same for others of you as well. And so what we're doing up here in the corner, Virgo, is um, this is actually... I'm reading this more as coming out of the past. This is something that I feel you've been working on. Um, and it's definitely up in your attention, in your mind, in the forefront of your mind. So we have the thimble here, um, which represents practicality and bringing your thoughts into reality and making the right choices, making responsible choices. Then we also have the crescent moon. And the crescent moon usually would go, quite often lands in a waxing or a waning position. But what we see here, I don't know if you can focus on that there. What we see here on your board for July is that it's, it's balanced in between the two. So it's neither waxing nor waning at the moment. Um, but it's interesting to me because we also have the knife. And the knife is about letting go of um, cutting ties that bind you. So um, it could be emotional um, or mental ties, like things that have been negative or challenging, things that haven't been working out for you. It could be physically moving away or, or letting go of something or someone that no longer serves you um, that no longer serves a good purpose anymore in your life. So the interesting thing I find here is that um, the waning moon is all about letting go and it's about releasing negative thoughts, feelings and old patterns that no longer serve you. So um, I think you've been caught in the balance here between letting things go and cutting away those ties that bind you and also with the practicality and bringing thoughts um, and actions into reality any ideas or thoughts that you've been having um, the waxing moon is all about setting your intentions and bringing in those manifestations for your desires and your goals and your wishes so what I'm seeing here 
that you've been focused on a lot Virgo is trying to find that balance of letting go of what no longer serves you with the waning crescent but also bringing in at the same time your manifestations and trying to set your focus and your attentions on your heart's desires. So um, that would be representative of the waxing crescent. So you've got the crescent moon in the middle here balanced between the two of letting go of negativity but also at the same time you're trying to focus your attention on bringing in the new and resetting your attention intentions towards your heart's desires so not a bad energy but definitely for Virgo, that could have gotten you a little bit stuck in your mind, like, a, you know, stuck in your thoughts, um, which may have caused you a little bit of imbalance, which is where we're seeing that need for balance here as well. And a lot of trusting your divine guidance and intuition, because when you do, you really do know, um, you really do know yourself if you can connect to yourself and you can really listen to your heart's desires you you do have a better understanding of where you want to go and deep down i think you know how to create that balance to give you that stability that you're looking for but um i think your main focus but you're coming out of that now and it's definitely something i feel that you've been working on but it is just finding that balance of letting go of anything that doesn't serve you anymore but also then bringing in the new um which you're getting lots of guidance and support for as well here with the blessings and the new beginnings coming in so um definitely don't get too stuck in your head um and overthink certain situations because if you can trust in the divine guidance and the intuition that you're being given um you're definitely working towards new beginnings and lots of new lovely sweet opportunities that are coming in for this month for you virgo so i completely sympathize with that so it's um very frustrating sometimes i get exactly the same um caught up in the same sort of overthinking mindset and um it definitely can be a frustrating place to be in basically so um not to worry because i definitely think you're finding that balance and you've got lots and lots of really positive things coming here for you and not too too much work you know there's definitely some work that needs to be done to help you move forward to this but you know we have some really good opportunities coming up for you here so um a fantastic month for you i think so far just a, it's really a focal point for you at the moment um you're really working on yourself and what you want and what your heart's desires are virgo because um in other readings that i've been doing for different zodiac signs i've been seeing the candlestick quite often let me just get it for you here many other zodiac signs have been having the candlestick which is um reminding us for a lot of people reminding us to get out there and be sociable and meet new people which you haven't had that for this month I'm not saying that you shouldn't go and definitely enjoy yourself and um, make the most of it and spend time with your loved ones of course that's definitely important for all of us but i don't see that as a focal point for you virgo this month um i really see this as you're doing a lot more um internal work really with your spiritual um, balancing your spiritual desires and or your spiritual understanding and really working on your heart's desires and working towards making yourself feel more secure and stable so i think that it's not that socializing isn't on the cards for you but it's just not and i'm not seeing it as your main focus for this month but what we do have here oh sorry we mustn't forget that we do also have a Sagittarius energy so this could be Sagittarius coming in for some of you it could be that you have Sagittarius in your chart somewhere but um, I'm seeing it actually kind of in between the love and um, your setting your intentions and your desires so it potentially could be related between the two um, so it could be for those who are looking for love or um, looking to date again, it could be that a Sagittarius energy is coming in for you. Or as I said, you know, maybe it's a Sagittarius in your birth chart somewhere. Um, or just a Sagittarius coming into your life with all these new opportunities and beginnings that are coming your way. So just above that, in your thoughts and feelings, again, these are things that you've been thinking about um, and 
spending a lot of your focus and intentions on and this this is the swallow it's absolutely beautiful one of my favorite birds and the swallow is literally all about family and love and the the need and the desire to want to protect your family and provide for your family so it's a beautiful peaceful loving energy um and that's definitely in the the focus a central focal point for you in your thoughts and your feelings so it's the the desire to want to spend time with your family to surround yourself with that love and that protection and the need to want to create that security and that stability for your family so it's an absolutely beautiful energy i love the swallow you also do have an initial here so that is the initial of if i can focus is the letter g and that can be representative it means something different for everybody but it can be representative of an initial of a person so a name it could be a place a location an opportunity a career even it will mean something different for everyone so take that how it resonates with you it may not mean anything to you at all and then we also have something else that you've been thinking about and that is the seashell and the seashell represents um, the need to create a perfect environment so you're looking it can represent protection which we've also seen down here with the dagger um, the need to want to protect as well with your family um, so it could be about creating an environment um, to really protect yourself and your family and also that does tie in with the safety pin here and that need and that desire to want to create that stability again we're seeing here in the seashell so with it being about creating um, a perfect environment for you um, which that perfect environment really should include balance as well because we're seeing that here again like I was saying the duck can live very um, easily and peacefully going from water onto land and flying through air so the duck has a very balanced life and it's really about creating that that protection and that environment surrounding yourself with the right environment that brings you that balance so the balance of um, family and love and um, spiritual growth and um, happy healthy balanced relationships so it's really a focus for you or it's definitely been um, on the forefront of your mind that you're wanting to create that balanced healthy lifestyle and uh, a protective environment healthy environment for your family as well um, we have it very closely connected to the swan and i just i really want to point out that your reading virgo has been very bird heavy like you have the rooster and the chicken you have the swan the duck and the swallow so we have a lot of birds going on here for you um and they are all absolutely beautiful and they all bring really valid messages as well so the swan actually is telling us that there is a need for beauty and absolute elegance and grace in our lives as well so um, when you're creating that perfect environment in your home or or the in the world around you what you're looking to create is absolute beauty and elegance it's just looking for the beauty in everything around you so creating that in your home it could be in your garden or um, just in everything you do surrounding yourself with things that are beautiful to you and things that you enjoy things that make you feel inspired and comfortable and safe and secure so the swan is just a lovely graceful energy just reminding us to look for the beauty all around us and that's really what you'll need to surround yourself with virgo um, throughout the month of july just to create that peace and that harmony and that balance so that's an absolutely beautiful energy and we also do have another initial here again for some of you that's the letter r 
Again, that can be an initial of a person, a place, an occupation, an opportunity or an experience that's coming your way. Um, again, that will be something different for everyone. It may not resonate with you at all. But I think overall a really beautiful reading, Virgo. I absolutely love it. Um, I think, you know, especially in your central focus for the month here, we've definitely got some really lovely positive things coming in for you. So as we were saying, there's definitely wealth, which will be financial wealth for some of you, which definitely will make life a lot sweeter. But also can be somebody special coming in, which comes in with love and new beginnings, taking care of our spiritual, emotional, um, physical and mental health as well. And then also for others, that could be um, education and academic learning, beginning a new course or starting a class, which would then maybe draw your focus more towards the coming months and weeks um, into perhaps beginning a new project with the bones here. So um, lots to work on and lots to focus on, but you're definitely concentrating your efforts and your focus more towards building that foundation um, whether that is through your health through taking care and balancing your life through your um, spiritual emotional mental health and physically taking care of yourself or it could be really just about building that foundation with um, learning and new projects creating that stability um, and security for yourself however you choose to do that um, it's just about bringing in that beauty and that peace and harmony and balance and you have just lots of love and happiness coming in for you here virgo so um absolutely you've already done lots and lots of hard work of releasing and letting go and bringing in your ideas and your thoughts into reality so you've already put in a lot of work so far to this point and i think definitely you are being rewarded for it and you can really just enjoy this month and create that perfect environment um, to keep you feeling secure and stable with your family and your loved ones around you so an absolutely beautiful energy for this month virgo um, i hope you enjoyed that reading and what i would like to do now is um, go straight into reading the um, a couple of different decks here for you some oracle cards for just some more clarity and a few more messages for us for the month of july okay hope you can still see everything clearly there on your board virgo so um what i want to do actually for this monthly reading i have this beautiful deck called the secret language of color and i really am a big believer of using color in our lives um, just to really give us um, to change help change our moods and to give us that um, that little boost of energy or or that peace and that harmony that we're looking for sometimes um, I just think colors are an absolutely brilliant way to really surround ourselves especially you have here with creating that perfect environment and surrounding ourselves with the things that we love and the beauty all around us a great way to do that is with um, surrounding ourselves with color even if it's um, in our food or what we wear um, it definitely I think really helps with focusing our intentions or um, clearing our mind or bringing that balance and that harmony into our lives and um, so it has a lot of uh, different uses I'm really really interested in using color throughout our lives for many different reasons so um, I absolutely love working with this deck and what I want to do is just draw a couple of different cards for you Virgo to see what colors will be coming up for you this month that will perhaps help you um, boost your mood or help you focus your energies and your attention intention sorry um let's see what colors do we have coming up for virgo in july this is oh gosh we'll take that one because it came sliding off the top of the deck there um they are a tricky deck is a tricky deck to shuffle i won't lie i have quite small hands and find this part i am not the most graceful at i'm afraid but i seem to be given lots of cards that are being thrown at me here if you just bear with me for a moment Okay, this was the second card that came flying out of the deck there, so we'll take both of those. Your first card, wow, oh, 
yummy that looks really nice okay so we have cherry live an extraordinary life oh my goodness virgo yes that's absolutely beautiful i love that and you know i really see that connecting here in your reading live an extraordinary life which we all should anyway live our absolute best possible lives um but i really see it here with the the sweet coming in with the wealth whether that's financial whether it's somebody special coming in um it's really just about creating a beautiful sweet balanced harmonious life so make it extraordinary virgo surround yourself and create the perfect environment with all the things that you love all the things that inspire you and um, make you feel like you're living a beautiful rich healthy life which when you look at this colour red, sorry, I can try and find where I've put the card there. Um, look at that colour red. It's so rich. Oh, I absolutely love it. So live an extraordinary life, Virgo. That's a beautiful message. I love that. So um, your second card came out as awaken your creativity with amber. Again, such a beautiful, rich colour as well. The oranges and the reds, absolutely beautiful. So awaken your creativity. Yes, definitely. Um, so that's it, Virgo, definitely. Um, I think the need to surround yourself, I think creative creativity comes when you're inspired when you feel passionate about things and I think it just flows so easily again like we've I've mentioned many times but when you have that balance when you feel secure and stable when you, within yourself when you feel healthy and strong and um, when you know what your heart's desires are and you feel clearer on the direction that you're moving in um, I think that creativity then just overflows. So to awaken your creativity, you're definitely being drawn to really create that balanced life, which we have seen here um, and which you've been working on already. You definitely have been really working on that balance, cutting away or letting loose um, those ties that have maybe made you feel restricted or any negative old patterns and behaviors that have been holding you back. So you've been working really hard on that and working hard on setting your intentions for your heart's desires and bringing in those thoughts and ideas into your reality. So you've definitely been doing that um which is absolutely fantastic but then when you've created that balance and you've created that beautiful inspirational environment all around you um, it's really going to awaken that creativity so absolutely love those colors for you virgo and then i love to end the reading with my moonology oracle cards and um, this is my mini deck of moonology cards and they're just easier for me to shuffle because they're smaller but it's an absolutely fantastic deck i will leave the descriptions of these decks down below for you if you want to go and check them out um and i love using the moonology at the end of a reading it's always just a really really good way um to sum up the overall general feel of the reading which it the moonology cards are so good at doing that so Let's see, a final message for Virgo here for July, please. Thank you. And you have, let's see, a personal issue reaches a resolution. The full moon in Cancer. Okay, so I see that um, definitely coming up here in your reading, Virgo. So a personal issue reaches a resolution. Um, I see that here in a couple of different ways so again we didn't talk too much about the dagger but as i was saying coming out of your recent past the dagger can be representative of um, a feeling of needing to protect yourself and it can also represent sacrifice as well so maybe you have been feeling that you've been giving up a lot of your time or a lot of your energy towards things um that perhaps um, weren't necessarily intentionally for you maybe you've been really trying to help out others or you've had to sacrifice um, 
any opportunities or things for yourself that you wanted to do um, or to work on or work towards. Maybe you've had to let go of some of those in order, you know, to help others or maybe they just weren't working for you and you've had to let them go. So um, that definitely can be represented here with a personal issue reaches resolution. So that could be coming from the dagger here, um, the need to sacrifice things that haven't been working for you. Um, or it could be that you've been feeling defensive or protective, but that definitely is in your recent past and you're coming out of that now. So we also do see that here with the knife and the need to cut the ties and let go of any negative people or negative situations or um, any repetitive cycles and things that haven't been working for you, Virgo. So um, it's a fantastic summary because it's really letting go of all that doesn't work for you um, it's all coming to um, be resolved now and that's really freeing you up to allow you to move forward to create what you need to create to put the work in to um, create that stability and that security that you're looking for Virgo um, and that definitely comes through balance and surrounding yourself with lots of beauty and things that you love and people that you love with your family and Lots of really good opportunities coming in for you here with the new beginnings here. So a really beautiful reading, I think, for you, Virgo. Um, I hope you did enjoy that reading and that you were able to resonate with those. Um, some of those messages did resonate with you. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you wish, if you'd like to continue seeing more of these charm readings and this content from me in the future. Um, and um, I really do hope you've enjoyed it. I really hope you have a fantastic month, Virgo. Lots of really lovely things coming up for you here. Um, and definitely awaken that creativity and surround yourself with um, lots of beautiful things that you love to live an extraordinary extraordinary life so thank you for being here Virgo um, I do always really appreciate everybody's support and um, for you being here on my channel watching my videos and supporting my content so thank you so much and I am sending you all love light and blessings <music>